And uh, Simon from SimonWoods.com. Um, wine today is Canard du Chien um, Authentique Reserve. It says on 1868, but I don't think that's a vintage. It's basically a non-vintage wine. And, uh, uh, oh, you know that, that strange moment when you're waiting for the cork to come out? And let's see if it, yeah, oh, oh, that was cool. Ah! You didn't see that, did you? Never mind. Anyway, let's pour it into my glass and see if we can do better than pouring it all over myself. Oh, it's, I, can, it's, I can feel it sippy, seeping into my trousers, which isn't a good thing. Anyway, let's taste it. Bit of a funny one, this. I smell, I stick my nose in there and um, there's a fresh bit and there's an old bit. Um, uh, and it's like there, there, there's a fresh, uh, very sharp green apple, um, slight lime lemon character, but then there's also a developed um, yeah, developed old apple, a slightly cooked apple character. Um, it's it's lost its fizz quite quickly. That um, may, even if, after it's spilled all over down my trousers. But uh, anyway, let's taste it. Okay, flavours, but there is a slightly stale yeasty character in there. Um, and um, mm, really, in two minds about that. As as I as I was saying from from when, when I smelt it. There's a young bit and there's an old bit, and the old bit is the the young bit dominates it when, when you put it in your mouth for the first bit, so it's the first time, so you get these quite fresh flavours. But then the flavour you're left with is this slightly slightly stale, uh, yeasty uh, character, almost like the bottom of the beer barrel type of uh, type of flavours, um, and um, so it's it's okay. I mean, I've, 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 I've I have to say I've not been a huge fan of Canard du Chien in, in the past, but um, it, this is slightly better than, uh, than a few I've had recently. Still not great, but um, hey, it's okay. See you soon.